Chairman, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Didot, uh, I would like to express myself, you know, clearly that I, you know, glad to be here tonight, you know, to listen to you. And about what's, what's going out is that I do agree that there are tons of sons of God and that the Bible said that all those who have received him, they become sons of God. But according to the, uh, uh, what we are talking about is tonight, that I want to ask you that the Bible said that great is the mystery of the Godhead, that God is manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirits, see on angels preaching unto Gentiles, believe unto the world, and receive up into glory. Would like to explain where that scripture is? This is our friend Paul talking, I take it. See, this is Paul. Look, when I ask the Christian, who are you following? Who is your master? You say Jesus. I said, what does Jesus say? Look, a learned man of the Jew comes to Jesus. Mark chapter 12, verse 29, I think. And he says, Master, what commandment is the first of all? Look, simple language they are talking. What commandment is the first of all? The most important thing in faith, what is it? And Jesus answers and says unto him in the Hebrew language, Shama Israel Adonai Elohainu Adonai Echad. It means hear, O Israel, the Lord, our God, the Lord is one. Could you remain seated, please, brothers? We're going to end very soon, please. So he repeats word for word what was given by Moses 1300 years before, without the change of a dot. Why should a learned man of the Jew go to Jesus? He's described as a scribe, means a learned man. He goes to Jesus and respectfully says, Rabbi, in the Hebrew language, it's a rabbi, master, teacher, bishop. What commandment is the first of all? Why should a learned man go to another learned man and ask the simplest of questions which any Jewish child could have answered 2,000 years ago? It's a problem. You see, like you are a mathematician, you go to Einstein, the master mathematician, and you ask him what is 2 plus 2? Does it make sense? No. Unless he has gone off somewhere fundamentally in his calculations. So you're trying to draw his attention say, wait a minute. Einstein, I respect you, you're a great man, but what is 2 plus 2, sir? Not that he doesn't know what is 2 plus 2. So this learned man asking Jesus, what command was the first of all? Why did he ask him in the first place? Number two, the reply that he gave. This was 1300 years old. Why does he repeat? Why didn't he say, for there are three that bear witness in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. That's the real answer that he should have given according to Christendom. Christendom's answer the, of the first commandment is, if I asked any learned Christian, what is the first commandment? Oh, he can rattle it off. The first is, hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. But if I asked you, what is your first commandment? Not what is the first commandment, what is yours? You are puzzled. Anybody would be. You see, so what I mean is, the importance that you ought to give to the first commandment, what are you giving to? Because you, when you were born, if you were born a Christian, you were baptized in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Am I right? If you are a Trinitarian. Christian, yeah. I'm not born in the titles. No, no, are you a Trinitarian? You believe in No, this? no, I believe in one God. You are closer to us. I believe in one God. Right. That's why the Bible said, it's a great is the mystery of the Godly. That God there is, is no mystery. Is. No, 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 we say there is no mystery. Is the, look, God says, in the Bible we are told, God is not the author of confusion. Exactly. Right. So the confusion that you have, you know, look, among the whites of South Africa, there are 1,000 different sects and denominations. 1,000. Do you know that? There are 3,000 among the blacks of South Africa. 3,000 different sects and denominations. Who is the author of them? God? Is God the author? No. No. God is not the author. So, we said, look, there is no mystery. God Almighty from the very beginning, He says, I am God, the one and only God. He threw Moses, He says, Shama Israel, Adonai Elohainu, Adonai Echad. Hear, O Israel, the Lord of God, the Lord is one. Jesus says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord of God, the Lord is one. Muhammad says, Qul huwa Allahu Ahad. Say, He is God, the one and only. There is no mystery about it. The mystery is the creation of the church. If you are not a Trinitarian, if you don't believe that Jesus is God, whether you are born again or not born again, you are very close to us. 
You see, you have taken a step in the right direction towards Islam. Well, as I said, that I believe in one God. And as, the, as, as I co uh, quote, quote the scripture, that it said that God is manifest in the flesh. Now, then immediately you believe in three gods. You no, see, no, I, no, I don't agree with that. You see, when you say he manifests in the flesh, meaning that God came down to earth, God incarnate. He is God incarnate. You believe that? No, that too. That he came into flesh, that means God took human form. Exactly. You, he, he, that means he incarnated, not reincarnation. You see, reincarnation means you're going to die and your soul might go into a dog or a pig or into another human being. No, that is reincarnation. We are not talking about that. Incarnate means God taking human form. The Hindu says Rama, took, God took human form in Rama. They say God took human form in Krishna. The Christian says God took human form in Christ. So if you believe that God came down to earth in the form of Jesus Christ, then the voice that was heard from heaven, whose voice was that? Was it God's? Because he's already come down, he's taken human form. He was in his mother's womb for nine months. Look, the Bible says so. When he was eight days old, he was circumcised and named Jesus by the angel when he was in his mother's womb. Who was in his mother's womb? This God incarnate. God came down and he was living in his mother's womb for nine months. I'm asking how did he pull the strings to run his universe from his mother's string, from his mother's womb. Huh? And then helpless little creature like one, you and I, imagine. The almighty God, is that the form he took with all the filth and the muck, made his mother impure for 40 days? Is that the same God who came down to earth from heaven? Please. My dear brother, you see, though you say God is one, in your mind you got three. No, I'm definitely sure I haven't got three in my mind, sir. But thank, thank you very much, Mr. Thank you, brother. Subhanallah, walhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah, wallahu akbar. Subhanallah, walhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah. Subhanallah, walhamdulillah.